A human rights organization in Israel has accused its country's military of killing at least 10 Palestinian protesters in the occupied West Bank since 2005 in what they consider the inappropriate use of weapons to control crowds. Non-governmental organization B'Tselem says the response by the Israeli Defense Force to crowds throwing stones extensively and systematically violated rules forbidding the use of deadly response to a non-lethal assault. This report uh, exposes for the first time the full list of crowd control weapons used by the Israeli security forces in the West Bank regarding uh, Palestinian uh, demonstrations. Uh, weapons like tear gas, um, rubber coated bullets, the skunk, uh, stun grenades, different uh, weapons that are meant to be uh, non-lethal uh, if used properly and according to the regulations. We actually also provide the relevant military regulations that um, restrict the use of these different uh, elements and we show how these regulations are often very widely um, flouted by soldiers. Scenes of protests like this one recently in Nabi Sala are an everyday sight. But Selem says six protesters were killed with rubber bullets, two by so-called skunk gas grenades and two more by air rifle pellets, usually used in sports shooting. It also said the report is based on hundreds of hours of field research and of them documenting how demos are policed. However, the IDF dismissed the file as lacking factual merit and told the Reuters news agency it does everything in its power to ensure that the use of riot dispersal means is done in accordance with the rules of engagement.